Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. It's your boy JNARC, aka Chris World, and today we are rebuilding the New York Giants. And um, first and foremost, let's take a look at the team, see what we have going on here. Obviously, we have Daniel Jones, second year player. We're going to obviously try to keep, see if we develop him to be uh, a better player, you know, see if uh, he could actually perform the way we want him to perform. We have a good receiving core here. You know, Saquon Barkley is obviously we're not keeping him as he was like injured and stuff like that. So also Blake Martinez. Good amount of linebackers here, honestly. Jabal Sheard that right outside linebacker. Kind of weird, but I guess that's okay. And cornerback situation is not too bad. D-line is not too bad as well. But what I want to do, I think I'd want to move um Logan Ryan to be a corner. But we need offensive linemen. And James Bradbury, we know we just signed him. It would be very hard to move him. And Logan Ryan. First and foremost, let's see what like the cap space is looking like for the Giants. Let's see what the cap space is looking like. Hopefully it's not too too crazy. So we would have a penalty for him. Um, Logan Ryan will be a penalty as well. So I'm going to move Logan Ryan to be a corner for us. Yeah, he'll be a corner for us. And then um, that should help us out, hopefully. I don't know he was left-handed. But so we move him to a corner. So it'll be him and uh, James Bradbury in that position. Leonard Williams, $16 million in savings that we would save. Same thing with Kevin Zaitler, uh, we would save $10 million. Um... See if there's any other players we could possibly move that would save us some money. But as of right now, it's looking like just them. Nate Solder is still on the team. And he's injured. Honestly, I think this is a guy we just want to release. Oh, we can't even release him either. We have to keep him under contract. So that's that's very fun to look at. But um Yeah, there's no there's no one else that we could really move. Yeah. So from the looks of it, I mean, we could move Spencer Pulley, probably trade him away, but uh, let's see. All right. So as we see with um the team, we can move away. We can move Leonard Williams, 16 million in cap, and um, we need free safety, but we have our rookie there. We have our rookie free safety, so that's fine. Xavier McKinney. We still have Julian Love as backup to Jabril Peppers, which I'm okay with. Cornerbacks, I'm okay with moving um these guys here, so that will make us more, hopefully, more of a factor when it comes to the team. And then linebackers is fine. What we want to do though is move Leonard Williams. We would save 16 million moving him. So honestly, I think it's best if we send him to the Packers. I know Packers would love to have him. Apparently, Packers number one need is a left tackle position. I wonder why that would be. I wonder what that would be. Um, well, they have a right tackle that we could use. But we don't really want a right tackle. Maybe they have a middle linebacker? No, neither would a middle linebacker. We could get Snacks. Give them Leonard Williams for Snacks. Get him back on the team. So now we have Snacks back. We just need a right end. And we could just move. We have Kevin Zietler here. We can move. We just need a right end back. Because we're doing all this just to see if we could, like, save some uh, cap. Oh, they want to be able to afford him. We're trying to do this just to get some cap back. Hopefully that would work. Eater Gross Motos, Ife Odobus. Wow, they have four right ends. Maybe let's try Eater Gross Motos. No. Kevin Zietler, maybe. I mean, what? Rams, maybe, is what I meant to say. Sean Robinson. Nah, I know his cap's going to be insane. Justin Madbuki. Madabuki. Make a better offer. Um, Let's see if there's another team that would like him. Maybe we could try Marcus Davenport on the Saints. Or maybe we try Trey Hendrickson. As we know, he's going to be... I don't know. Actually, Saints not even interested in him. I don't even know why I bothered wasting my time looking at that team. They got Carlos Dunlap and Alton Robinson. Maybe we could try Carlos Dunlap. He's older. Not too much of a cap hit, but 
still doesn't go through Texans Texans could go through try their right end no they don't have a right end that we would want these guys don't Brent Urban Roy Robertson Harris how much is Brent Urban 750 cap it yeah Bears are like that wow they don't go for it I just, I'm surprised no one's going for like a straight up trade here um, I feel like the Bengals should have right ends Carl Lawson maybe no how about the Bills Bills could use always could use some help on the O-line Jerry Hughes and Mario Addison don't want no old guys really on the D-line um Shana Nuosu uh Chiefs maybe maybe they have a right end they could give us no they do not Justin Houston Colts don't have the money either we could try Randy Gregory that's not gonna work as well Dolphins I don't even think they have a right end I know they have Christian Wilkins yeah Christian Wilkins maybe would go through hopefully this goes through but I bet we just got a right end so we just made those trades it makes it seem like we put our defense down but we did that just so we could have cap so we could sign people just so we could sign people so like for the safety position for now we could sign et and xavier mckinney learns from him and we're still solid on the back end that would be nice and then middle linebackers we pair up blake martinez and jake ryan once again former packer player they pair them both together look at the o-line we address the o-line there's nothing to address <laughs> Nothing on the offensive line that could help us at all. Cordy Glenn. Yeah, there's nothing. So if we look at the team now, because we're in a rebuilding process, we're not really trying to win a chip right now. So we're going to need a right guard. That's looking horrible. We're going to definitely need a right guard. What we're going to probably have to do is trade Golden Tate. I like the defense. I think the defense is going to be all right. Yeah, defense for sure is going to be all right, but it's the offense. Yeah, O-line's definitely going to need some work. Um, we're going to trade Golden Tate. I think Golden Tate should be the guy we move. Golden Tate. And keep these young guys here. Golden Tate's going to be the guy we move. Maybe go back to the Packers again see if we could get something for them from like an like a O-lineman. Like Lane Taylor. Lane Taylor is an injured. Rick Wagner. Lane Taylor, right guard, Golden Tate. I think this was, would go through. All right, cool. So we got a right guard. We help out with that position. That helps us out. Helped out with that position. They say we need a center. We have Spencer Pulley, who's taking cap, honestly. Um, Broncos, maybe they have a right tackle. That's like a backup. They have Javon James and DeMar Dotson. Maybe if Javon James, maybe that would work. Ooh, it would work. So maybe we could just throw in, like, a D-tackle. Maybe throw in Austin Johnson. I don't know, but that would be straight up, though, for him. Yeah, Austin Johnson. We'll throw in Austin Johnson. And next year's four for Javon James. Cool, so we just got a right tackle. That's good with me. So now that we still have the center here taking up cap. Honestly, we don't even need to move that. We don't even need to move that. I think we're we're fine with having those backups. We did kind of just help out the offense. Um, we moved Golden Tate. Changed up the receivers, but that's fine. And um, offensive line is not looking too bad. Javon James is injured, of course. Complete PCL tear. Ah, I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. You know, but that's fine. We're gonna have, we'll be all right with that. We'll, since it's a rebuild, we'll have to see how the team goes on moving forward. So let's send to the playoffs. All right, so as we look, we obviously didn't make the playoffs. We went five and 11, but the division wasn't too good this year. So not too mad with that. Not too mad with that. 5-11 is not too bad to start off in the first year of a rebuild. It offense came in 81. I mean, 
Offense came in 80, defense came in 81. Statistically, let's see how well we did. We were 24th offense. Daniel Jones didn't have too good of a year. But I feel like the defense was pretty solid. 30th. Okay, defense wasn't as solid as I thought. 18 touchdowns, 2 picks. I mean, 8 picks. And then Tyrod Taylor came because he was injured. Didn't do much. Didn't do much as well either. Saquon Barkley had 7 TDs. We didn't do too much protecting him. Sterling Shepard, though, 8 as well. Defense. Blake Martinez led the team in tackles, but what's new? Kyler Fackrell had the most sacks, so we need more pass rush coming in. Will Thomas had a good amount of picks. Good amount of picks by these guys overall, but still not enough to do anything. 5 and 11, though. Not too mad with that. Let's see if uh, how our rookies did. If I can remember, it's Andrew Thomas. Left tackle. 73. Will Hernandez became a 76. Okay. Okay. People kind of went up in overall. Not too bad. So we have our guys. These are our top three receivers, honestly. I like these guys. Daniel Jones, 74. We're still going to keep riding Daniel Jones. That sounded weird, but we're going to keep him around. I feel like we'll be pretty solid. We're obviously going to get rid of um, Jabal Sheard and start Kyler Fackrell. D-line, Dexter Lawrence got injured from the looks of it. But not too bad. Not too bad. This is something we could definitely work with. Something we could definitely work with. So what we're going to do is advance to the Super Bowl. Browns Packers in the Super Bowl oh yeah we gave Leonard Williams to the Packers so I guess that was the Packers missing piece I want to see if Leonard Williams was a factor 40 and 10 for Aaron Rodgers thousand rushing yards Jeez, golden oh we gave them golden Tate as well we gave him golden Tate oh damn we gave them an offense then 30 31 touchdowns combined with these guys we gave them an offense we literally gave them an offense. Leonard Williams had six and a half sacks. He was a factor with everyone. Jeez. Yeah, we, we really technically gave them an offense. Let's look at the team stats. Packers led a number, number two offense. Browns had a number one offense and defense. Packers didn't have that good of a defense, though. They were, like, bottom tier, but they had the number two offense, which led them to the Super Bowl. That's interesting. But um, I think what we need to address when we look at uh, when we scout some players is more pass rush and um, offensive line help. And I feel like we're still fine with our receivers. It's probably just the offensive line that needs to protect um, Daniel Jones better. We have Forrest Wagner, receiver, early second round. D'Angelo Mills at the end. I think I like my D-linemen. Just got to somehow see if we can get them to get more pressure. So, left tackle. There's not going to be anyone good here. There's no one projected in the first, then there's no point. Tyler Wadsworth, nothing. Greg Guy, left guard. If we get him, we can make him into a right guard. Wouldn't be too bad. We do need a center as well, but we also have the free agency to look at too. So, um, right tackle, hopefully they have Rashad Leach, early third rounder, and Jared McConnell, second round, late seventh round. So, nothing too good on the offensive line. But, let's go to, oh, let's view yearly awards. MVP went to A-Rod, coach of the year went to Kevin Stefanski. They went 16-0? and Holy crap. 16-0. and God damn. That's crazy. Let's look at uh, defense play of the year. Okay. Offensive rookie of the year. No one from the Giants, of course. Defense rookie of the year. Chris Barnes, obviously. No one from the Giants. Okay. 16 0 versus the MVP. I think the Browns are winning this because the Browns, wow, 16 0. That's insane. There's no way they lose. They're going to have, like, the greatest season of it. Yeah, they did. 38-17. That's crazy. They went undefeated. They went all the way. Not a, not a soul could stop them. Snacks were not resigning. We're going to resign Dalvin Tomlinson, though. We have enough cap to sign him. Star D-tackle. We got him back. So that's solidified. Wayne Galman is a backup running back. If he doesn't accept this, we could, we could let him walk. 
Deion Lewis will let you walk. Kyler Fackrell, I think I'll keep you around for one year or two years. But if you think free agency will fit you better, then be my guest. CJ Board, you're 27. You're asking for quite a lot. I have to let you walk as well. We have Kiko Alana. Jake Ryan, Earl Thomas is asking for a lot. Lane Taylor, you're good as a backup. So one year deal shouldn't hurt. You're not interested in signing. And Jake Ryan, just as a backup. You're just as a backup. So Jake Ryan as a backup works. And honestly, with the rest of these guys, I mean we could sign. We don't we don't need to spend two million for backup tie like tie. Tackle, Jesus, tack, tack. What's wrong with me? So let's go into free agency. See what's available for us or available to us. Dexter Lawrence is here. We have 57 million available in cap. Let's see if we can attract some free agents. Right tackle. They got Taylor Moult in here. Wouldn't be too bad of a signing. It wouldn't be too bad, honestly. We got Trubisky here as a free agent. But we have Daniel Jones. We could sign Josh Rosen to a seven-year deal. <laughs> just to have our ultimate backup. And we just need one backup running back just to complement uh, our boy, Saquon Barkley. So Boston Scott wouldn't be too bad. Boston Scott, hopefully that's not too bad for you fullback we have elijah penny receivers receivers i think is fine we could always add one more add someone like demarcus robinson nah we could go even cheaper than that just so we have more depth we could go like alan lazard i like having alan lazard on my rebuilds like i feel like he always plays well we have alan lazard as that as that backup we still need a number two tight end the Packers let Robert Tunyon walk. That's interesting. But we really have Evan Ingram, so we don't need to sign someone too crazy. We just need a solid backup. Ricky Seals, Joe, and I feel like could be the deal breaker for that. Left tackle, we still have Andrew Thomas here. So we're still going to rock with him because he's the, he was like the fourth pick in the draft. So that's an offensive lineman that we need to keep around for the team. Left guard, we have Will Hernandez. That's fine with me. Center, Nick Gates is fine for now, but we could sign Mike Pouncey to a one-year deal just to see like what he could do for us. A one-year deal, having him onto the team wouldn't be too bad. We have no right guard, so someone like Brian Winters would have to join the team. As I know in the draft, it wasn't looking too good. So we got Brian Winters, and just in case, we signed someone like Tom Compton to back him up. We have Juwan James. I wanted Taylor Moten, but we did trade for Juwan James. So we're going to have to keep him and see if, um, you know, but we could just, like, try to get Taylor Moten. But we have the defense to worry about, so that's the only thing that sucks is that we have the defense to worry about. But we, for right now, we could just sign backup D tackles, backup positions just to help us out. Just so we're not totally dead in the water. Sign Marcel Darius as well. He wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so that wouldn't be too bad as well, having him as a backup. Your right end is fine. Left outside linebacker, we have Lorenzo Carter. He's fine there, though. And we could sign Frankie Louvi, Louvu as a backup. Two-year deal, not too bad. Middle linebacker, we need more. Chris Barnes, Packers, I don't know why they let him walk. But he's young, he's 23. To go with a full crew of Packers linebackers, I'm with it. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year, so and they let him walk, so... We'll go for him. And then right outside linebacker. They say that ooh, we have Carter Coughlin. But let's sign. Let's see if we could sign Bud Dupree. But let's look at our corners first. Um, nah, we're, we're fine with corners. Free safety. We're, we're cool with um, Xavier McKinney. We're just going to sign a backup in Bradley McDougal.
Okay, Bradley McDougald. Strong safety is good. We have our kicker. We have our punter. So, honestly, going with du Bud Dupree would not be too bad. Give him a big, big deal. Okay, so we signed Bud Dupree. So let's advance to next week. I feel like that's a huge upgrade with the team if we get all those guys. Bradley McDougal, Bud Dupree, Josh Rosen, Lazard. Okay, so we just upgraded this team like tenfold. Literally tenfold by just those signings. Um, Juwan James, complete PCL tear. We need to trade him away. I want Taylor Moen, but it's probably going to be impossible trying to get Taylor Moen. So, offensive line. I'm okay with this still. Um, tight end is, will be, is good. We got the receiver course set. Still need the running back, though. Still waiting on that. You know, good middle linebackers. Chris Barnes is a 82 now. Linebackers, I'm okay with this. D-line, I'm okay as well. Um, safeties, I'm okay with as well. So let's look at what's left for us to... Um, let's see what's left that we were looking at. If Taylor Moen's still there, he's not. That would have been nice if he was. If he was still there, that would have been cool to look at. But we still have all these guys here. So hopefully they accept uh, these contracts and uh, see if that helps us out. Um, what we should look at for sure, since we're going to have a high pick, is definitely look at... Um, D-line is not too bad to look at as well. Let's look at available. Let's go by cornerback position. They got Emmanuel Telfer, mid first rounder. He's only 5'9, though. Mid first rounder corner. We got Aaron, Aaron McCall, mid first round. Sterling Joyner, Joyner, early second rounder. D'Angelo Sherwood looks pretty nice as well. Not too bad with the corners. Not too bad, I'd say. Right outside linebacker, mid first rounder. So we, take, we did take a look at a couple of them. So not too bad. Let's advance to the next week, see if I'm. Um, any of these guys are signed with us. Accepted, accepted. So we got their center, a backup D tackle, and another running back. That helps us out a lot. We got fifth year options. It's probably Saquon. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, we got to keep him long term. Yes, we want to pick up his fifth year option. That's cool with me. Um, good. Uh, so we looked at the corners. And. We saw that. Oh, maybe we look at Leroy Dobson because he does have a high combine combine grade, early second rounder. So if he's around, we could definitely draft him. Uh, there's also Brad Nash, late first rounder. Stephen Fisher, late fourth rounder. Let's look at the middle linebacker. See what they got here. Nothing as well. Offensive line is a position that. No one really looks at Ooh, Glenn Hartman, though. Right tackle. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're really going to give Juwan James a try, but, you know, don't know what to expect. But the only person that didn't sign was um, Tyson Aloe. But we really got every position. We really, like, all the free agents we went after, we really got majority of them. Because now, waiting for Juwan James to come back. Offense is solid. Defense has more people now. We have solidarity there is what I meant to say. And um, that's really good. And that's really good for the team. So we're going to head into the draft. I'm really, I'm feeling really like confident with the squad, honestly. Feeling real confident with the squad. So let's start drafting. Hopefully we have a, I wonder what pick we'll have. We have the seventh pick in the draft, so not too bad. Dolphins have the first. Let's go to our pick. Let's see what's available for us. Scouted. So we have Gerald Massey, early first rounder. Okay. Emmanuel Telfer, mid first rounder. Leonard Smith, mid first rounder. Not too strong of a draft, but it's still solid to me. We got Aaron McCall. We got Greg Guy, late first rounder. D'Angelo Sherwood, mid first rounder. Leroy, Leroy Dobson, early second rounder. That's who I want to get in the second round. So I guess how it's looking, we're probably just going to go with like 
I don't want to go to mid first round. Maybe we could just move back in the draft. Maybe we just trade backwards. Yeah, let's see what offers they get. Go for maybe pick seven to... Ah, oh, there's nothing here. There's nothing there. Like, we already have a lot of outside linebackers. And we just signed Bud Dupree. So... I guess we'll go with Emmanuel Telfer. You reach rank number 17. True value drops down to number 7. Emmanuel Telfer, welcome to the team. Your new cornerback. So, let's go to the next user pick. Drafted another corner. That's fine. Leroy Dobson just went. Not too bad of an overall. Saw that he was 73. Let's get our scouted players. Glenn Hartman is the last one here. So, Glenn Hartman looks like he'll be the move. He's a late second rounder, but... We know he's going to be gone. So 70 and overall, so not too bad, honestly. And we're going to sim through the end of this draft. All right. Draft is over. Let's look at the draft recap. So we got, oh, we got some high overall players. We got a Duke Cardi middle linebacker. We got... Tim Watkins receiver we got another receiver and then the D tackle interesting so not too bad of a draft we still have some cap room available and um, yeah let's go to preseason week one Juwan James should be back from injury he is um, this is his, this is his, like make or break year <laughs> like honestly this is really his make or break year like we're really gonna see if he's like worth it we'll really save 11 million if we move on from him like i don't know let's see our biggest need is a middle linebacker apparently and the thing with juan james you know we're gonna work with juan james if he plays bad we'll just we're not gonna keep him we'll just sign someone and we'll let him walk so without further ado let's send to the playoffs and see if we uh sneak in so as we can see, we didn't make the play. We went five and eleven again. Okay, we went five and eleven again, which is a problem because we upgraded the team and we became we did nothing. So our offense was twenty third in the NFL, and our defense was seventh. So we had a top ten defense, but the offense wasn't holding it. Daniel Jones had twenty five touchdowns, nineteen picks, not too good. Saquon had over a thousand yards, seven TDs receiving no one had over a thousand i think we might have to get a change in quarterback but dupree had ten and a half sacks that's good to see um, i'm happy with that ten and a half sacks for bud dupree so the pass rush was definitely there with our linebackers which i'm very happy about good signing by us interceptions three for mckinney three for bradbury two for chris barnes two for blake martinez two for logan ryan one for these guys all around the board so our defense, we had a top 10 defense, but the offense wasn't cutting it. Daniel Jones looking like he's going to be the guy that has to go. See what overalls these players became on our team. Andrew Thomas is 75. Okay. Mike Pouncey, this is one year deal. Okay. These guys are gone. Um, we have Hartman here. Daniel Jones. Honestly, I'm good on Daniel Jones. We're definitely going to just move on from him. But... Defense, Chris Barnes, still pretty solid. I like Hardy. Linebackers are still good as well. D-line is still solid. Um, Logan Ryan is regressing, so we're going to have to let him go. So let's sim to the so let's sim to the Super Bowl. So that's two years down with this rebuild. We went 5-11 two years in a row. I think Daniel Jones is going to be the guy that we move on from. Super Bowl is Brown Saints. Dude, the Browns go undefeated again? Don't tell me the Browns went undefeated again. Wait, let's see, because they were 16-0 last time. They were 16-0 last time. Let's see. They were 13-3 this time. Wow. Bro, the Saints are something else, yo. <laughs> the Saints are... I mean, the Browns are something else. For real. Like, for real. Let's see if there's a quarterback. There isn't. Sebastian Johnson, undrafted. Oh, my gosh. There's no quarterbacks in this draft. Yep, not a single one. 
Okay, that's good to know. Offensive line, Amari Sanford, early second rounder, Ben Marion, undrafted, Theo Pendleton, mid seventh rounder, O line non existent, right guard though, early second, Derek Clark, mid first rounder, good to see, Tyrone Garrison, okay. Do need a center as well, but we're not going to worry about that position too much. Left side, nothing there, most likely. Middle linebacker, though, they have a couple. Esteban Lopez, Quincy Buchanan, let's see. Early third rounder. Malik Collins, run stopper, late first round. Okay. So, Browns seeing Super Bowl, probably be the Browns repeating again. Browns repeated again. We have 14 players ready to negotiate. Evan Ingram, our star tight end, I think deserves a deal. I think deserves a deal. So we get him back. We have Jabril Peppers, star safety, deserves a deal as well. Mike Pouncey, we're going to let you walk. Lorenzo Carter, mm, asking for some money. How about you, Dante Pettis? Not too bad of a deal, so. But you want to test free agency, I'll let you go because we did draft some guys. Will Hernandez, our star left guard. We want to definitely keep him around. So we kept him around. BJ Hill is a good backup as well. But he's not going to start, though, so we're probably going to have to let him walk. Brian Winters, we're letting you go. Isaac Yodum. You're going to be. You're going to get into a huge role now. Yeah, so it's good that we signed him back and we'll let these guys walk. Yeah, we're going to let those guys walk. We could sign some other players or draft someone. Let's go to the next stage. Cool. So we still technically have a full team, but we're moving on from players. Saquon, we're not moving on from you. James Bradbury, we're keeping you, of course. Daniel Jones, would you be a penalty? Seven million penalty if we got rid of him. But... What it's looking like, cuz we're gonna have to let him go, cuz he's just. Blake Martinez, we can move him. How about Juwan James? Juwan James is 13 million, we can move him. Juwan James and Blake Martinez are some people we wanna move on from. Um, first and foremost, let's see what quarterbacks they have, cuz Daniel Jones is not cutting it right now. We have 14 million available in cap. Jair and Fred Warner are free agents. Quarterbacks, they have Baker Mayfield. Brown's quarterback is a free agent. That's shocking. And Kaepernick. There's not too many good quarterbacks in the draft. So it's either Baker, who's a 92, or we trade, or we trade away some players. First and foremost, probably gonna want to trade. Let's see what players are available though for trade. As we give up Blake Martinez, save like eight million in cap. Let's see what quarterbacks are available. Nick Foles, no nope. Joe Burrow, we won't be able to get him. Josh Allen won't be able to get him. Um, we can send Daniel Jones to the, the Browns. We can honestly send Daniel Jones to the Browns. Just wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Isaiah Diggs, quarterback, and Trubisky. No, I'm good on that. Dak, Tua, Carson, and then Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts normally eats, like, in franchises, so I don't know, maybe that's a try we go for, but let's see what other, if there's any other quarterbacks available. Jordan Love. Jordan Love would fit our scheme. Jordan Love wouldn't be too bad as a giant. That's something to think about. Jordan Love. It's either between breaking the bank for Baker Mayfield or, let's see or Jordan Love okay so there wasn't anything there let's let's go to the Eagles they still kept Carson Wentz so do we want Jalen Hurts though you know what? let's go with Jordan Love let's go with Jordan Love I, I'm feeling something with Jordan Love Blake Martinez with a reunion with the pack nah we don't even need to do all that we could just send them Juwan James Juwan James would be perfect to send them Juwan James for Jordan Love. This would cause him to exceed the salary cap. So we're going to have to give him the middle linebacker and Blake Martinez. 
That's tough, but I guess that would work. So we got Jordan Love. We have a quarterback now. So now that we have our quarterback of the future, we're going to give up Daniel Jones to the Browns. Browns should definitely have some players that we could use. Right guard Wyatt Teller. Maybe that will go through. Daniel Jones for Wyatt Teller. So that would work, but let's just see what else they have on their team. They have a tight end, left guard, strong safety, left tackle, center. They have like every position you need. They also have right tackle. <laughs> they have D tackles as well. Damn, they have every position. I wonder why they got two Super Bowls. Denzel Bayer. Denzel Bayer. And um, who was the guy we were getting, going for? Wyatt Teller. Denzel Bayer, their backup D tackle, and Wyatt Teller. We give them Daniel Jones in our third round pick. Make a better offer. In a second. Make a better offer. Daniel Jones for Wyatt Teller straight up will be that. So if we sneak in a third, hopefully this goes through. Oof. So a second would work. Or a third and next year's fifth would work for Wyatt Teller. So we just got a new right guard. We have a quarterback. So that position is fulfilled. We have the right guard. Center still Nick Gates. Left tackle still Andrew Thomas. We'll sign the backups through what we have to do. We're going to move. Um, let's see what D tackles we have on the team. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to move them for a backup. So Juwan James for a backup. D tackle. That's fine with me. As we are. We're trying a new quarterback in the system, so maybe we get Tim Settle just to back up uh, Dalvin Tomlinson. Let's try the Chiefs, even though they're probably just protect well, like one D lineman away from just for consistent protection. But let's try Derek Nadi. Juwan James for Derek Nadi. Trade off was accepted, so we have two D tackles. That's good. Um, now that we made those moves, we're gonna sign some free agents. See if there's a. No, we should have more cap now available. We do. Um, let's go with right tackle. See what's around on the market. They have Mitchell Schwartz and Mike Mike McGlinchey. Mike McGlinchey's available. Steelers offering him a lot. So we're going to have to offer him some bread too. Just to get him onto the team. To really beef up that offensive line to help out the Giants. So we're number one for that position. Left end, we just need a backup. Carl Nassib, I'm going to be too bad as a backup, I assume. Carl Nassib as backup. It's a very cheap deal, but it's a prove it deal, so shouldn't be too mad with that. Right end, I'm just sign a backup. Now our D-line should be like problem causes. Like We should actually be a force on that D-line for the Giants because there's no way we're not. Tyler Lancaster, left us side. We got, you know what, let's sign Malik Reed. Obviously way cheaper deal than that. We're giving him way too much money. Give him this deal. I don't know why we're trying to give him that, all that bread. But we have Chris Barnes here. Ooh, if we were able to sign Fred Warner, I would. But we'd probably be negative in cap, and we probably can't even make the offer. Yeah, we can't even make him an offer that, <laughs> that he would want. But, you know, we could try it, you know, we could try it. See if maybe he accepts something. 49 total points. I know he'll decline it, but it's worth a try. We got Micah Kaiser as well. Well, we're going to have to wait for him to decline us <laughs> just so we can um make some moves. Um, and we obviously can't get Jair, so let's advance to next week, see if we get any of these guys. McGlinchey rejected our contract offer? No way, dude. We're making you the highest paid like right tackle. Fred Warner is still thinking about our deal? That's crazy. McGlinchey really declined us. I'm like sad by that. Like, how are you going to decline us like that? Like, a one-year deal for Mitchell Schwartz is not ideal to me. Tyler Crosby Crosby's not asking for too much, so... And he's a solid right tackle. I'm not saying he's great, but he's a solid insurance plan. And Steelers are offering way more since they lost out on Mitchell Schwartz. 
I don't blame him. Maybe this will make us higher than the Steelers. It does. <sighs> okay, cool. So my negotiations. Okay, so these are all my negotiations. So hopefully they go through. If um, I'm mad, yo. Malik Reed accepted that cheap deal, which is okay with me, but that bothers me. I thought I thought we were really gonna have um a fire uh, right tackle that onto our team, but I guess not. DeAndre McLean, Carlos Pinckney, mid first rounder, a bunch of mid tier players. They got Rodney Johnston, and then there's. Gerald Jackson, late first rounder. And then could always look at some offensive linemen, but there's nothing really good here though. Derek Clark, but like he's like second round material. They got DN, J Rhodes, the strongest one. A late or mid uh I don't even remember what that was. But let's advance the week. See if any free agents sign. Fred Warner Fred Warner accepted our deal, bro. We gave him a cheap deal. We gave him a literally a cheap deal and he signed. And then Tyler Crosby rejects our offer. Bro, what? We literally gave him a cheap deal. We gave him a cheap deal. Okay, I guess. I guess. Wasn't trying to get Fred Warner, but we got Fred Warner now. Mitchell Schwartz. We don't have enough cap to make a move for this, but I guess we can look at... <laughs> We somehow got Fred Warner. I wasn't trying to get Fred Warner, but um, damn, that really happened. Um, is it time to move on from Drains Bradbury? Should be, cause we can't move on from Logan Ryan yet. Should it be time to move on from James Bradbury? Let's see, how much cap is he that we save by moving on from him? 13 million. 13 million for James Bradbury. Maybe we could trade for a corner. Trade him for a younger corner. Yeah, I think that would work. Trade him for a younger corner? Yeah. Or or trade him for a center. Yeah, maybe trade him for a center. He's still technically in his prime, but we're not too worried about the prime right now. We're worried about building for the future and being able to have players for the future christopher bennett center and your second for james bradbury damn that would put them over cap um because we need a center and a right tackle or a right tackle they have caleb mcgarry and billy turner here and center they have austin Ryder. falcons that wasn't too bad though we could keep looking though mike mcglinchy wow you're so cool um, Trent Brown, Robert Havenstein, Orlando Brown, Taylor Mullen, and Morgan Moses. I mean, let's try Taylor Mullen. I don't know why they would have two of them at that position, but I guess it makes sense. Miriam Chick, Wilkinson, Tyler, Tyler Crosby went to there. Titus Howard, though. Titus Howard, 75 overall. Maybe throw in a pick for him. Or maybe we could give him our center. Right guard? No. Maybe we could give him our center. We give him Nick Gates for Titus Howard. Wow. They really do not want to give him up. That's shocking, honestly, considering that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Chiefs. Colts, Cowboys, Eagles, Falcons. We get a we would get a right tackle with Caleb McGarry. Give up James Bradbury for him. Trade off was accepted, obviously. Now we get the right tackle. We need a center and a corner. We get signed with what they got there. So not too bad. We freed up some money. So we freed up some money to get uh Caleb McGarry so that's not bad at all what we need now is a corner because Logan Ryan's old so 
we can get a corner like Razul Douglas, or maybe if there's a star corner that's a free agent. Scheme fit, Desmond Trufant, no, I'm good on that. Yeah, nah. Desmond Trufant would be solid, but I'm not really caring about this sol solidarity right now. Razul Douglas, cheap deal. Hopefully you sign that. Right outside is fine, middle linebacker is fine. Left outside is fine, right end is fine, D tackle is fine, left end is fine, right tackle is alright, right guard, center, both the Pouncy Bros are free agents, maybe Ben Jones might be the guy we need, Ben Jones, another uh, veteran just to have onto the team, and to just sign a backup in JR Sweezy, just so uh, injuries don't kill us. So we got the backup. Got some backups for sure. And then just sign Russell Okung to a backup deal. Okung. There's not really much in the draft that I was looking into, so I don't really care for that. It's really just eh, actually no, we could care for it. Let's advance to the next stage. See if we get these last deals. We got the center. We got okay. So all the positions we're looking at, we got them. So we got the draft coming up. So we have Jordan Love. Uh, was it Jordan Love? I think it's Jordan Love now. We have Jordan Love, and um, we have Jordan Love. Oh, we have the third pick in the draft. Hold on. Rodney Johnson on second. You know the third pick in the draft. Okay, scouted. Is anyone early first round? Corner, DeAndre McLean is early. Jay Rhodes is mid. Derek Clark, mid. Malik Collins, late. Gerald Jackson, late. Okay, so I guess we're going to go with that corner, DeAndre McLean. Rank number seven, true value draft item number three. That's fine with me. Oh, we're going to advance to the end of the draft now. All right. Draft recap. Let's view the contract details. Let's see. After we draft the corner, we draft the D tackle, running back, a tight end, and a wide receiver. Okay. I don't know if that addressed the needs of the team, but nonetheless, that helps out. Um, we can't move on from Logan Ryan. I don't believe so. Um, let's look at Logan Ryan. I remember we cannot move on from him. Logan Ryan. Yeah, because he would be a penalty of $11 million, So, we can't move on from him. So, okay. Let's take a look at the team right now. This is our third year into this rebuild. Um, offensive line, pretty solid. Right tackle is the only position that's a little weak, but that's okay. Uh, receiver core, still solid. Running backs, still pretty good. We have Jordan Love now, quarterback, holding on to the, holding the team very dear. So, and then... Defense, Fred Warner is just somehow, um, and Bud Dupree, so our linebacker core is good. D-line is stout, great protection all around. Corners are pretty, pretty amazing. I honestly want to, dude, we got a lot of corners here. Razul Douglas, I might just move him because I didn't, I didn't, I don't even know, bro. <laughs> like, I drafted a cornerback with the third pick in the draft. Like, they're obviously in the long-term plan, so we're going to have to, like, change that situation because there's no way i drafted you and you're gonna be fifth string like it doesn't make sense and we also have this kid in darnay holmes yeah so all young corners too but these guys have to play these guys just have to play these are these guys are gonna have to play yeah those guys are just gonna have to play so Hopefully, we have a good amount of corners, so hopefully they play well. But um, let's sim to the playoffs, and I feel like we should make the playoffs this time. Wait, wait, wait. We made the playoffs. We made the playoffs. We made the playoffs, guys. We went 9-7. and seven, Stuck into the playoffs. Finally, a good, a good record. A good record for once. Oh, after a couple years, we had to make the change at quarterback. We had to. View the playoff bracket. 
So Giants were the seventh seed. The Cowboys were the second. So we barely snuck into the playoffs. Vikings were the number one seed. That's shocking to see. But Cowboys, Giants. Yeah, so almost all around the board you see division division matchups against each other. But um, we made the playoffs with Jordan Love in his first year in his new offense. We're in 87 offense and 87 defense. Eagles went 3-13. and 13. Washington football team went 8-8. Eight eight. We went 9-7. and seven. And then the Cowboys went 11 and 5. Jordan Love, wow, we had a 28th offense, but I feel like our defense was just amazing. It had to. Oh, it didn't say anything. Jordan Love, 24 touchdowns, 9 touch, nine picks. Not too bad in his first year as a starter. Saquon Barkley didn't amass 1,000 yards, but that's fine. Sterling Shepard had over 1,000 yards. Not too bad. Defense, though. Fred Warner had a lot of tackles. DeAndre McLean had a good amount of tackles as well. Um... Bud Dupree had seven sacks. Sacks wasn't too big of our thing, but interceptions, not too much either. So I guess just by by our players, we really just like changed, I guess. And then we sent Daniel Jones to the Browns, and what did he do? 21 touchdowns, 15 picks. I'm telling you, Daniel Jones is not the not the answer for this team. He's not the answer for the uh, the Giants. Maybe that's a sign. Who knows? But I want to see what happened to um. Let's look at the NFL all around. Because we know that the Cowboys ate. The Cowboys are going to be a good matchup for us. As we're playing them. Because they still have Dak. 30 touchdowns, 7 picks for him. And then rushing 1,600 yards for Zeke. That's insane. But let's look at all the NFL. See what happened. Was that? Yeah, Zeke was just off the charts with his yards. That's just insane. And TDs went to Nick Chubb and David Montgomery, both with 13. Passing Ryan Tannehill had the most yards. Russell Wilson had 42 touchdowns. And picks, Daniel Jones at 15. Carson Wentz at 14. Baker went to the the Steelers, 32 touchdowns, 13 picks. So we made the playoffs, which is pretty good. But we had to move on from Daniel Jones, which I didn't want to do, but it had to be done. So the Steelers were a six seed with Baker. So that's pretty interesting to see. But it had to be done. So let's look at the overalls for our team, our teammates, <laughs> for our guys. And then we're going to go right into the game. So Jordan Love's a 78 now. Uh, Saquon's a 95. Darius Lane's an 86. Sterling Shepard's an 84. Evan Ingram's an 88. Offensive line is pretty solid as well. You guys went up in overall as project projected. Fred Warner's a 99. Chris Barnes an 85. Linebackers are good. D-line is solid. Corners are good. Looks like McLean is a superstar corner. Good thing we drafted him with the third pick in the draft. Um, but wild card's going on here. So let's just um, sim and see if we get a dub against the Cowboys. We do. We won 33 to 28, and we faced the 14 and two Vikings because we have to play the worst division, or we have to play the hardest team, as they have to play the worst, the worst seeded team. So we just beat a team that was second in the NFL, the second seed in the NFC, and Ryan Tino destroyed the Browns. That's crazy. But the Vikings are 14 and two. That's who we're playing next right now. And how are the Vikings 14 and two? Because Kirk Cousins threw 33 touchdowns and six picks. But their running backs didn't really do much. They just have Justin Jefferson. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Defense, okay, they have a good amount of sacks on that team. Yeah, they have a good amount of sacks. But still, though, like, I think our O-line is going to hold up against these guys for sure. For sure. So I want to see the statistics for how that game went against the Cowboys. Who won the division but couldn't beat us in the playoffs. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Giants 33. So statistics show that Jordan Love had four TDs. got sacked three times. And then Dak had an amazing game too. Four TDs. got sacked once. But we somehow won. Rushing. Saquon Barkley did better rushing the ball. Yeah, we did better overall rushing. Receiving. It was a good game over. I guess it was this positioning, I guess. Because Levi Mitchell had two sacks. Christian Wilkins had one. Yeah, they sacked us, but I guess we... Let's look at the box score. I'm actually surprised. How did we win this game? Because 
so we scored okay so we held them to field goals what it looks like or maybe we stopped them from pats maybe maybe that's what happened interesting so that's how we won by five that's weird they missed two pats and then we scored two t i don't know i don't know but we're facing the 14 and two vikings probably gonna take an l we won 24 to 21 wow we just beat the 14 and two vikings the number one seed in the nfl we just beat them what is happening we're facing the 10 and 6 buccaneers now let's see the buccaneers we gotta see their stats because we just went from a 5 and 11 team to just one game away from the super bowl we're facing tom brady 32 touchdowns nine picks ronald jones how old is brady in this like 22 years of experience probably like 45 46 like sheesh they still have mike evans chris godwin scotty miller tyler eifert oh man oj howard oh man that team is insane defense oh man shag barrow 15 sacks i see 15 sacks trent murphy five and a half vita vea devin white i think trent murphy would be a great sign for that team and Sean robinson they have Rashawn Evans as well and Kyler Fackrell. Okay, this is a stout defense. Okay, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're then they still have Levante David. Okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. We beat the number one and two seed. And the Buccaneers beat the Saints, and I think the Saints were number one. But let's see the statistics of what happened in this game. Kirk Cousins got sacked four times. And we threw, and he had a 111 pass rating. Jordan Love had two TDs, got picked off once, and got sacked three times. Dalvin Cook, eight. Receiving, Dalvin Cook, eight. <laughs> um, wow. Defense, though. Let's see what happened. What came away with the sacks? Bud Dupree, okay. Daniel Hunter, and Terrence Moss, 8. Christian Wilkins, 8. Dewan Smoot had a sack, and they have a sack with these guys as well. That's good. Excuse me. And then interceptions, Harrison Smith got one. But box score was tied, and then we scored 10 unanswered, and then we scored. They scored 14, so they were up, and then we scored, so we held them. We held them. So we had one turnover, they had zero. We had nine third down conversions and two fourth down conversions. Wow, that's insane. And we had more time of possession. And they had we had more penalty yards as them. That's crazy. Um, let's see. We're facing the Buccaneers. I don't know what seed they are. Let's see what seed let's see what seed they are. The Buccaneers. We're the they're the fifth seed. They beat the third and the fourth. We beat the first and the second. So the fifth and seventh and link up. Interesting. Giants Buccaneers for the Super Bowl. Let's see if Jordan Love could trump uh, Brady. Nope, we lost 24 to 17. Super Bowl is Bills Buccaneers. So with that rebuild, we went from being a 5-11 trash team with no hope to go into the Super Bowl. I mean, to go into the conference championship. I ain't too mad with that. I ain't too mad with that. Weekly awards, Jordan Love, two TDs, picked off, four sack. Shaq Red had two sacks. Okay. Okay. Um... And then let's look at the Pro Bowl roster, see if any of our guys made it. Jacoby Brissett, none of these guys. Receivers, nobody. Offensive linemen, nobody besides Wyatt Teller. Um, D-line, nobody. Bud Dupree made it though. Corners, nobody really, okay. Interesting. Um, let's see how it was statistically in that game. What made us lose as we were one game away from the Super Bowl. Let's see. Player stats. Josh Rosen came in, threw a pass. We got sacked four times and threw a pick. Barely got any pressure on Brady. He had one TD, only got sacked once. We had better rushing yards, but the defense is where it was all at. We had one sack, but Shaq Bear killed us. Vito Vea and Trent Murphy did as well. And they picked us off, I believe, Jamel Dean. So... That's what happens when you turn the ball over. We had four third down covers. They had five. And they had 13 minutes of more possession. So, yeah, they just killed us. They definitely killed us. So, that's interesting to see. Let's see if um they make uh they win the Super Bowl. And then after that, 
we'll be on our way, ladies and gents. Super Bowl between the Bills and Buccaneers. Let's see who won MVP. We went to Patrick Mahomes. See if our boy was up there. No, he was not. No, I don't even bother. Coach of the year. We weren't even up there for coach of the year. Interesting. How about rookie of the year? Do we have any rookie of the years? Offensive rookie of the year? No one. Defensive rookie of the year? DeAndre McLean was second, though. Damn. Best quarterback. Our guy wasn't even top 10, and we went to the NFC Conference Championship. But it's all right, though. It's all right. It's all right. Super Bowl between the Buccaneers, Bills, Josh Allen versus Tom Brady. Winner is Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below what other teams you want to see me rebuild. I enjoyed doing this rebuild as we, after three long, grueling years, we made it to the playoffs and we went to the conference championship. But we had to change teams, we had to change up people, but it is what it is. But anyways, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and remember, you gotta be a fiend to succeed. Peace.